Finally got the clamp off. It's had a, over a week soaking in WD-40. I think those threads were rusted into that boss at the top. Anyway, it's off. I've uh, shifted the ram into the workshop. First time I've actually taken a look inside here, other than peeking through the gaps, but the um, bull wheel, bull gear, let's say, looks all right. Not a lot else I'm going to take off now. It's just going to be a case of probably shift the electric boxes off the front paint face and then uh, might take the pulley off the other side which is there and then I might roll it over because it's going to make slinging it a lot easier a lot of problem in so much as how high my engine hoist will lift anyway started stripping down the ram uh, we've got the tool head off but not the rotation section that's still solid so that's soaking bigger box bits uh, I'm just going to take the lead screw out of the uh, tool head um, that doesn't look original just some sort of spacer Looks as if he's been chewing up there. No idea why. Now we're going to crack those two off. Sorry, going to loosen those two off and then uh, extract the lead screw, and then that'll be ready for soaking. In um, I've got a bought a an alternative to the evapor rust. Because 26 quid for three litres of wrapper or seems a little bit steep. I've just paid, I think, 17 quid for uh, one that you just have to add water to. And it will make up to 30 litres. So uh, be interesting to see what, that, like, what that's like when it gets here. So that all actually came out quite easy. And that's where we, we're at. And then you should turn it round, you see somebody's had Stilson's on it. So it looks as if the, at some stage in the past somebody else has had the whole lot to bits, which explains why what that bit's well it doesn't tell me what it's for, but it at least explains why it's on there. Made a mess of that though. It sits inside a little, uh, it's like a bronze bush has been pushed in. What lies beneath? That one's solid, that's the uh, fixing that holds the clapper box to the tool head. So, something else to soak. Don't think it's been apart, it's certainly not been moved for a hell of a long while. No, it's not, that's nicely fitted. So much so that I'm actually inclined not to take the uh, taper pin out, just clean the ends up and leave it as it is. Bit of a clean up and a degrease.